today to have a representative of Lockheed Martin, one of the top uh, U.S. defense uh, companies. And we have Paul Lemo, uh, who's with us, and he's going to talk a little bit about a new innovation uh, that Lockheed Martin has to make our warfighters uh, more effective than they are now. The product uh, that we're demonstrating here at the show is called Inferno. Uh, Inferno is a uh, an ISR and targeting sensor, and it leverages uh, over three decades of experience that Lockheed Martin has in providing um, sensors of this sort to uh, to detect, classify, track, and and provide targeting information for. Uh, all different types of platforms, uh, fixed wing, uh, both fast jet and rotary, rotary wing helicopter platforms, naval platforms, as well as ground vehicles. Uh, the product uh, is unique in that it's fully modular, so it, it really reduces the time uh, to repair and maintain the sensor. Uh, essentially, today's sensors, when it breaks, you have to take the entire sensor off the platform and uh, send it to a depot to be repaired. With this sensor, it can be re repaired in the field. So you take off the shroud, you can remove any one of the 10 line replaceable units, replace it with uh, a replacement part, essentially, and then it's up and running again. So you're not taking the sensor out of the fight, nor are you taking the platform out of the fight either. Uh, we estimate that it can reduce the life cycle cost about 50% compared to today's sensors. In addition to that, though, it is packed with uh, the latest technology. It's all high definition, both in video and infrared domain. And uh, we have uh, three different types of cameras in there, a video camera, a mid-wave infrared sensor, and a short-wave infrared sensor. Uh, we also have things like an IR pointer and a laser designator so that we can actually uh, designate targets. Uh, and we've designed the sensor to really operate at the maximum weapons range, so to so ensure that we can designate targets at the maximum range that you could fire the weapon. And it's really important that the sensor be able to, you know, detect, recognize, and, uh, and identify um, what it's looking at. And the example I like to use is, you know, being able to, to tell the difference between a person holding a shovel and a person holding a gun or a weapon at long ranges, so that. Um, the, the warfighter knows what they're uh, looking at and can target uh, the correct uh, adversary. Well, Paul, you know, I have a question, although I'm, uh, you know, kind of offline here, but I do have a question. So is this currently in the field and being used uh, on Blackhawks, or is it being used by, uh, you know, U.S. Uh, SOCOM uh, in the field? So we, we recently completed the development in the last year. Okay. Uh, we've been doing testing and demonstrations with customers. So we've done uh, several demonstrations on ground vehicles um, in very stressing environments, uh, high, hot desert environments. Um, and we've also uh, done a flight on a Black Hawk helicopter as well, an S-70. Um, so again, customers are witnessing those demonstrations. Uh, we are you know, preparing uh, bids for customers um, and we're ready for production. So how long do you think it's gonna take from the time when you, I know you'll win the bid, uh, to the time it's actually in the field and we're, you know, using it to expand the capabilities of our warfighters? You know, I'd say a few years. Uh, so from the time we get an order, you know, you're talking 12 to 18 months to produce the system and mm -hmm. get it out to the warfighter and then, then they have to obviously put it to use. So okay. within a few years we should see, you know, hopefully warfighters operating yeah. the system. Well, you know, Paul, I, I forgot to ask you the most important question, a little bit about yourself. Sure. Uh, your background and how did you uh, get to <laughs> Lockheed Martin? Sure. Well, I've been with Lockheed Martin nearly 30 years. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm an engineer by trade, uh, mm -hmm. but now I have the fortune to run our fire control line of business, which uh, builds, uh, designs and builds all the targeting sensors that mm -hmm. we make. Um, so that's, you know, it's been a great, great uh, experience with Lockheed Martin. Well, I can see why you're such a, a very valuable a representative, but also an engineer and someone with a lot of knowledge in this area. And I thank you very much for this interview. Thank and you. again, thank you again.